What's up guys, I'm Kinsey Ray. welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I will be showing you guys how I got these really cute bob length fashion twists. I really wanted these twists to look like a natural hair twist out and I really do feel like I achieved the look that I was going for. I'm so happy with how they turned out. I think this look is perfect for the fall and it's low maintenance and it only took me two hours to do. So if you guys would like to see how I achieved this look, please just keep on watching. So this company sent me over six packs of their 18 inch water wave hair and this is how the hair looks straight out of the pack. It is crochet hair and like I said I was going for a more natural look for this style and I feel like this hair really did help me achieve that look. So if you guys want more information on this hair I will have links in my description box. Alright so first I'm just going to open up the package and take out the hair and I'm going to cut off this little gold holder. And they all come as little single pieces, but right now I'm just going to take each one and split them open. And the reason I'm splitting them is because in the next few clips you guys will see that I will take where the, where the splits are. This is where I'll be cutting them in half and this is how we're going to achieve the bob length. Alright, so after I am all done separating them, I'm just taking my fingers and running through the hair just to get rid of any tangles because this is curly hair. So, you know, you do have the possibility of it, of it tangling. So, I'm just getting those tangles out. Alright, and now like I mentioned, we are cutting the hair in half. So, where you separated the hair, you're just going to take the scissors and just cut straight across. And like I said, this is what's going to give us our bob style. And this is what the hair should look like after you are all done cutting. Two nice separate pieces. And now we're going to take the hair and I just took two separate pieces from each of my little piles here. And I'm going to stack them on top of each other but when I stack them I'm going to make sure that the ends don't exactly meet. Because this is what's going to give us like our feathered look at the end and it's what's going to help keep your twist from unraveling. Alright, so now that I'm done stacking them, I'm just going to take my thumb and kind of run it through the middle of the curls just to break them up a little bit. And this will give you a more natural look, which is what I'm going for for this particular style. So I'm just kind of making it a little rough, you know, making it a little fluffy and a little frizzy. Alright, so enough of all that prep, we have finally made it to the actual hairstyle. And as you can see, I have most of my twists already done. This is just so I can get a little practice in before I come on camera and be trying to show y'all. <laughs> Alright, so the first thing that I'll be doing is just taking this little section of hair and I'm going to be splitting it into two separate parts. And if you guys would like to see a video on how to part your hair for passion twists, box breaks, etc. I will have a link up above where you can go and click and see how to part your hair and then you know if you want to come back to this video. Once you got the parting down, you can do that sis. <laughs> Alright, so now I'm just taking this front part of the section and I'm just pinning it down and I'm going to be working on the back for right now. So I'm just detangling my hair and then I'm going to take this second touchdown edge control and I'm going to be putting it on the base of my hair and I'm also going to work it up just a little bit. Alright so this step is completely up to you guys. This time I decided to braid my hair down a little bit just so I can get the crochet needle under there and begin my crochet. But in my other videos I did do the rubber band method but I had a couple people ask for another method when doing their passion twist. So this is the braid down method. Alright so now I'm just taking my crochet needle and I'm sticking it underneath that braid and like I said if you were to do the rubber band method you would just stick it underneath the rubber band. Alright so now I'm doing the exact same process that I showed you guys earlier um, before was just a more you know detailed explanation of what I was doing right here and right now I'm just going to kind of fast forward through it. I just stacked my pieces on top of each other then I'm going to take my fingers run it through it just to get it a little frizzy then I'm going to go ahead and begin applying it to my hair. Alright y'all, this part goes a little fast and can get a little tricky so I slowed it down for you guys. Alright, so we already have the needle underneath the braid so we have the latch open and we're going to go ahead and put the hair on top of the latch, close it, pull it underneath the braid. Then you will see that the passion twist hair forms a little loop. You're going to stick your fingers through that loop and you're going to catch your hair and the passion twist hair and you're going to pull it through the loop. 
once you get the hair through the loop you're going to pull only the passion twist hair and that's going to pull it tight and make it secure all right so that was probably the hardest part of this whole process but it's really easy if you take your time and you know don't rush and do it and i had my whole head to practice so so will you <laughs> all right so now i'm just taking the hair and i'm just braiding it down a little bit then I'm going to take my hair and blend it in with the passion twist hair and I'm going to begin to twist. And I got a lot of questions on my first passion twist video on how do you know which way to twist the hair. While you're twisting you will kind of feel which way the hair wants to go and I have a more detailed explanation on my previous passion twist video and I will have links to all of my videos in my description box so definitely go and check those out. And once I get to the ends of the hair, I just like to take some edge control and just kind of twist it up. Again, this does give you a more natural look, which is what I was going for. So this is how my hair looks so far. For this next section, I'm just kind of, I'm just going to do this in um, full speed. So you guys can get another look on how to do this whole process. And now for my favorite part of the whole process, my edges, my edges, edges, edges. <laughs> so I'm just taking my Eco Style and Gel and my toothbrush and I'm just laying my edges down. You know, nothing too big. <laughs> Alright guys, unfortunately this video has come to an end. But the results are really, really good. So my hair came out so freaking cute. I absolutely love it. Um, I really do think that it does look like a natural hair twist out, which like I said, is what I was going for. Um, the hair does stop at like the top of my bra strap, the back of my bra strap. So um, we got our cute little bob length. They only took two hours to do. If you guys do want the link to this hair, I will have everything in my description box. Please don't forget to check out my other passion twist video. Also, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will definitely see you guys in my next video. Bye.